My group develops image informatics tools for guiding interventions in different types of diseases, both cancer and non-cancer focused. We're trying to provide the clinician with more information than they have available currently to try and guide where to treat, what kind of treatment to give, how well the treatment is working, and what is the risk of the patient developing complications. We have radiologists, pathologists, surgeons, gastroenterologists who we meet on a regular basis who really help guide and direct the exact thrust and focus of the different tools we're developing. We are using standard of care imaging, such as MRIs, CTs, and we are applying novel image analysis and pattern recognition tools to try and build different kinds of maps that can provide the clinician with more information so that they can appropriately inform the patients on what kind of interventions they're going to do for them, whether therapeutic, surgical. We have a project on rectal cancers. This is a DOD-funded project. We're trying to impact the lives of over 40,000 patients who are diagnosed with rectal cancer annually in the U.S. The information that's available for these patients in terms of imaging and other data is not being used very effectively. The problem is all these patients are undergoing a very aggressive treatment protocol. Over 25% of these patients don't actually need very aggressive interventions. And another 10% of these patients actually have recurrence despite aggressive intervention. We're going to take the MRIs that the patients get and give the clinician an indication of how well the treatment is working. We're going to provide them with a surgical GPS map, which tells them exactly how far the tumor remains in the patient and how much it's impacting surrounding structures. And once they have done a surgery based off this GPS map, we are going to give them additional risk stratification to tell them what is the chance of this patient developing complications. The other project we have is in Crohn's disease. Now, Crohn's disease affects over 700,000 Americans annually. It's a chronic disease. It's lifelong medication. Over 30% of them don't actually respond to treatment, which is given to them immediately after diagnosis. And the reason is the clinicians don't have a very good way of determining how severe or the exact phenotype of the disease because of how inaccessible it is to most of the procedures that they perform. What we're proposing to do here is to use MRIs and identify for the clinician exactly where the disease is and provide them an indication of how severe it is and tell them whether the treatment is going to work for this patient or not.